Alright dude, I made you a video, I'll show you how to do it. Screencast keys. Get rid of the box. Add a plane, tab into edit. Scale to kind of small. Tab out of edit. Your little test data set was uh, 71 by 71 so I resized it to that anyway add modifier array add another array this one's going to be to the y direction Seventy one by seventy one plane with a bunch of faces. Apply, apply, but they're all separate faces. That's the important part. UV image editor and open our little data set. I did rescale it to 7171. 7 view, view, check new bounds. So now you've got one plane per pixel. Pretty handy. Got to get rid of that. Probably won't need it again. <coughs> Switch to faces. Got it UV unwrapped, so that's good. Hit E to extrude, but we're going to right click to leave it where it is. Now, this is what I meant. Immediately take the selection you've got, which is only the top faces, assign it to a vertex group. So, faces to displace. out of edit mode, back to the modifiers tab, and add a displace, image level to zero, faces to displace, new texture. That's just a noise texture, we'll go to the texture tab and we will set it to the data set. Now you'll see it's repeated a bunch of times, we don't want that, so let's mess with it. Make sure the direction is in Z. Texture coordinates are UV, UV map, UV map, and we'll bump the strength way up. Say that, it's fine. Just like you saw before, still angled. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to go back into edit mode. I'm going to select only the faces to displace. change the pivot point here, that's important. Individual origins. I'm going to scale these on the z-axis to be zero. And we'll bring them back down. We'll switch into view mode so we can see. All right, looking good. Find a nice view of it. Control Alt Number Pad Zero bring the camera to the G. Double tap Z brings it out. G C once brings it down a little bit. G C double tap again some more and 
brighten up that sun. Zoom. I think I used strength 400. Now we'll make sure this has a material. Make sure you're in cycles render, by the way. Just to like black and white. Check your render size. at all. That's it. Probably pause it while it renders. Maybe I can't pause it while it renders. go all in all not too hard to set up pretty straightforward <laughs>